73 to the winner by split decision, Tommy T. Before we get to you, Coach Wade, Fury, 88 of 302 for a 29% connect percentage. Paul, 49 of 157 for a 31% connect percentage. An emotional Tommy Fury who missed many time with his new daughter, Bambi. He was there for the birth, for her birth, and then went right back into camp. Coach Wade, do you agree with the decision? You know what, I, th I think the round was a, a little bit closer, but I would not have been mad with a draw, and def I definitely accept the win of Tommy Fury winning. But I wonder now, does Jake Paul execute his rematch clause? Well, I think it was a close fight. I believe that, yes, it was a close fight. Why not do it again? Yeah, no, you, you do this one again. Um, not, not to, I'm, I'm, I, after you do something like this, you go a long way. You started three years ago. Yeah. Passed out in the six. Yeah. I've got nothing but love and respect for you, bro. Thank you, bro. It was a great build up, great yeah. fight. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Both men a sign of respect between the two. Tommy Fury told Jake Paul nothing but love, nothing but respect. What a moment in the career of 23-year-old Tommy Fury. There he is with his brother as well. But, Sean, to get to your point, in my opinion, as I saw, I thought the knockdown, because I thought it was a close fight, but you know what? The fact is, is Tommy Fury could have, it would have been a wider victory had Tommy Fury not gotten knocked down right. in that eighth round. Right, you, you, you're completely right. Um, you know, at the end of the day, again, I think that the ref played a, a small role in this decision. Uh, I think that right now, Jake Paul is a little confused right now. I don't think he really knows exactly what happened and how it happened. Um, nonetheless, I, I do believe we will get this again. And look at the emotion from Tommy Fury. And right now, we will send it up to Radio Rahim with the victorious Tommy Radio Fury. Radio Rahim here with Tommy Fury. You have every right to shed these tears of victory, of glory, of joy. You've done something for your family. You've done something for your name. You are more than a contender. You are a warrior. Talk to me about the feelings pumping through your heart at this very moment. For the past two and a half years, this is all that's consumed my life. Broke rib, denied access, and everybody thought, everybody thought I was running scared. Tonight, I made my own legacy. I am Tommy Fury. I want to dedicate this fight to my new baby girl, Bambi at home. My missus, I love you, I can't wait to see you. This fight was for you. It's belly, it's for you, Bambi, I love you. This was no easy fight. It took everything in you, all your heart, grit, and soul, even to get up off the canvas. How much was inside you when you stu stood up off the canvas and finished this fight? All the way through these two and a half years, I had a dream, I had a vision I would win this fight, and no one believed me. Now I can stand up and everybody can take note. It's my first main event, 23 years old. I had the world on me. I had pressure on my shoulders, and I came through. I know your goal is to be a world champion, but this belt around your shoulders right now must be awfully sweet. This to me is a world title fight. I trained so hard for this. This was my destiny. This was my fate. I want to thank Saudi Arabia for having me. I love you all. Thank you all for turning out. We guys, we did it! We did it! Now, now we know that Jake Paul has a rematch clause. He may want to do this again. If so, will we see you again in this ring for another war of this magnitude? 100%, this is my first main event. I'm only going to go stronger, I'm only going to go bigger, and I'm only going to go better. There's a lot of nerves coming into here. I override that. If he wants a rematch, bring it on. Thank you for showing up and giving us all you had. Congratulations on an incredible win. Radio Raheem with Tommy Fury. So Tommy Fury victorious, very emotional. And you know what? This is his moment. 
Absolutely. He was always been in the shadows of his brother Tyson Fury, yeah. but now he can stand alone and say, I was the first guy to beat Jake Paul. As, as an athlete who had a brother that was com competing as well, I can tell you that Tommy probably didn't feel like he was in uh, 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 Tyson's shadow so much as he was supporting him, Paul, and now he feels the same support. Let me first say that making this fight was one of the most difficult things you had to do, but fighting the way you did, that makes you a fucking true fighter, a true champion in your heart and soul. We saw you give everything tonight. You are a boxer. You are a man. Talk to me about this fight and the way it went tonight. No, all, all respect to Tommy. He won. You know, and, and don't judge me by my wins, judge me by my losses. I'll come back. I think we deserve that rematch. It was a great fight, a close fight. I don't know if I agree with the judges. I got a 10-8 round twice. So it is what it is, uh, but this is the boxing. And look, I've already won in life, man. I've already won. I I've won in every single way. I have an amazing family, amazing friends. Uh, amazing work ethic. I've made it farther than I ever thought that I would and and beyond um, So this is definitely a humbling experience I'll take it on the chin get back in the gym and we can run it back because I think we put on an amazing show for the fans tonight Let's talk a little bit about technical boxing. You got two knockdowns. You stuck behind the jab You were in there for every minute of every round. How much of your training and, and strategy was successful tonight? Honestly, I felt flat I got sick really bad twice in this camp, injured my arm. Um, so it wasn't my best performance, but, but I lost. I'm not making excuses. I'm just saying it wasn't my best performance. I felt a little flat. And like I said, we're gonna come back and, and get that W. Don't judge me by my wins, judge me by my losses. I'm gonna come back stronger. In the, in the great tradition of boxing, what makes a real fighter is someone who not only comes up off the canvas, but comes back after a loss, comes back better, comes back stronger, faces that opponent and defeats that opponent. You have a rematch clause. Are you ready to be a real boxer? Call that rematch out and do this one more time. 100%. Let's run it back. <laughs> and, last, go ahead. and thank you to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the Ministry of Sport, Prince Khalid. Inshallah, I'll come back and get this W. Shukran for having me. All love. Thank you to the Fury family. Thank you to the Paul family. Thank you, Pamela. <laughs> Radio Rahim with Jake Paul. So Jake Paul claiming, yes, I do want to run it back. And you know what? I agree with him in the sense that I was very entertained. I thought it was a high-level fight for where both guys are in their careers. And I absolutely want to see a rematch because stylistically, it was fun to watch. And it was very competitive on both ends. Very, very funny to say. And I know the boxing world is probably going to hate me for saying this. But that was high-level boxing for this level. High level for this level. Both guys, man, I'm, 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 I'm thoroughly impressed with both, both gentlemen. Well, I feel that based on this fight, the fans deserve to see it a second time. Yeah. I want to see it a second time. You're talking about entertainment. You're talking about both guys putting everything on the line. You're talking about them both guys showing mad heart and what they're doing. What more can we ask for a championship slash entertaining fight? This is what I always